Hello family and welcome back to our channel, Del Chanel's 48 World, featuring the family affair, which is you guys. Hey loves, hey babies, oh yes, we got to get into this story. The Guru, uh, G-R-I-O dot com, brought out a salacious story on NeNe Leakes, Wendy Williams, and uh, Wendy Williams' ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, honey. Very salacious story, very untelling, untold story, and we need to get into it, all right? Don't know who wrote it. They didn't put the uh, journalist or correspondent's name, so we just going to say a staff writer, honey. The title of the article was, NeNe Leakes accuses Wendy Williams ex-husband Kevin Hunter of sabotaging potential talk show. You trying to tell me Nene was trying to get a talk show on our vines? Woo, child. She gonna step out of reality TV and get in on her own um, platform of having a talk show and probably talking about trending topics because who would really want to know about Nene's life? Okay? Not nobody. She would have to do something just like her um, I don't know if you want to call her a nemesis or a friend foe. I don't know, friend of me. But, yeah, she got the gold look. She's been uh, touched by the, uh, you know, elite. And she's trying to run hard and heavy with them. So maybe a promise of a show, a talk show, was supposed to come into fruition. But it's being held for some other reason, okay? But, yes, that's what's going on. They're saying Kevin sabotaged Nene's plight or made it very hard for her to receive what she wanted which is um to be a talk show columnist i guess but anyway let's get on into the article it says nene leaks and wendy williams have become closer gal pals in the last year still that hasn't stopped leaks from coming clean about what she really thinks of the talk show host ex-husband Kevin Hunter. This week while appearing on the radio show The Breakfast Club, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star was asked to speculate on if she thought Williams and Hunter had any hand in thwarting her having a talk show of her own. Allegedly, it would have aired in a slot right behind the William Williams show and been produced by Del Mar Mercury, which also produces Williams' show. Okay, I don't think so, Leaks responded before adding, or she says, I do think so. I think it was her husband, yeah, he was never nice to me. At the time when plans for the reality star's transition to daytime television was in motion, she was boasting quite a few other high-profile projects, those including Broadway appearances and regular stinks on the television show or hit show The Glee or Glee and The New Normal. Well, you know, things happen. Timing is everything she said. Maybe it wasn't my time. Sometimes people are intimidated, you know. All right. And um, she says they think you're going to come up and do a little more than they do. I'm not sure. But I know that it is. Uh, I know that it was scrapped. That's true, she conceded. The 52-year-old seemed to have chalked up the whole ordeal to a moment that taught her a valuable and bittersweet lesson about how show business really works, explaining at that time in my life, it showed me how the industry is. It's a dirty world. Breakfast Club co-host and former Williams protege Charlemagne the God told Leaks, I don't want to start some shit, but when it cost you some money, honey. Woo, yes he did say that, y'all. But going back to the article, it said, in response to the pointed speculation, Leaks maintained she believed it was more Hunter than Williams involved with behind the scene antics. I'm sure he was the one that went to get it stopped, she said, admitting she could ar arguably see why she felt she posed a threat to their business. They made the right choice in my eyes. I would have done the same thing. What? You mean you would have stopped your own bag, honey? Or you would have stopped somebody else's bag, Nene? That's what you're trying to say, girl. Mm-mm. What -mm. an apple. The bad apple don't fall too far from that bad tree. So, you're just saying you would have been, uh, you and Grace would have been in cahoots of stopping uh, Wendy's bag if she wanted to come in after you. Honey. Baby. Okay. 
Don't want to be in freaky Hollywood if you got to get down like that. Because I think everybody can join the piece of the pie. Everybody can get a plug. You know what I'm saying? Your plug may be bigger than my plug. But we still plugged into the same socket. That's how I see it. But some people just don't want you in there. They don't want you to get that money. They want you to be on the outside looking in. Mm, that's that greed. That's that power. That's that satanic realm. Hollywood. Hollywood. I'm telling you. It's a family foul with him. We see and we hear. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article it said some of her fans were surprised to find out the usually confrontational entertainer had never brought the situation up to Williams directly and found peace in just dismissing it as old news okay well see a spade can be taught something and here y'all thought Nene couldn't grow. She didn't have no growth in her. But I believe some things are coming in the works for Nene. We may still see her on TV. She may have her signicated type of show being uh, formed as we speak today. I mean, if allegedly T.S. Madison can get a show that's going to be coming out. Okay. Why say um, Nene Leakes won't get one? That's what I'm saying. So I've said what I had to say on this particular article, this topic of discussion. Now I need my co-host, which is my family, the family affair, to get down and tell me what y'all think about it. Do y'all think uh, Kevin was the sole conspirator in stopping Nene's bag? Or do you think Wendy, as well as her husband, were jointly together in that decision to stop Nene's bag? I'm just saying. I don't know. Hollywood get down something awful, all right? Something awful but y'all get in them comments y'all tell me what y'all thought about it and i will see y'all as usual next video bringing up more polling questions more salacious stories for us to dive into kiki about it kick back relax and um just talk shit with one another that's basically what we do all the time we come on here all right but y'all be blessed thank you for all of y'all's prayers um and i haven't seen banana Anna Banana. Where's my Anna Banana girl? I hope you're doing well. And as you can see, I've been kicked down too. I'm still suffering uh, with my illnesses and stuff. But I'm not letting it get me down. I'm still grinding as usual. Just went back to work on Thursday. Oh, it was a task, honey. But hey, it, it, you got to do what it make it do, all right? But uh, yeah, I just said it. Say this: if you're going through some things, just continue to push ahead. Stay positive, and the storm does not stand in in your way uh, for long. It will move out, and you can get your grass back. The wind underneath your wings and you can soar 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 in the skies okay or in your mind of how you want to develop your successful stories you write the chapter of your book you control your narrative and always stay prayed up with everything you do in this society and i will see y'all next video all right see you later